Hey guys, it's Kevin again, and in this video, I'm going to be reviewing a show that I never talked about when I said the summer shows I would be watching, but I'm really upset that I didn't talk about it because I really ended up liking the show. It's uh, the first episode, the pilot episode of Who Done It, called High Voltage. And um, I didn't really know much about this show. I read a brief synopsis about it, though, and it sounded really awesome, honestly. It sounded like it was going to be really cool. So I thought I'd check out the first episode. And I gotta say, this is one of the coolest reality shows I've seen in a while. Most of it is because the contestants have no idea what's going on exactly. Pretty much what this is about is they've placed, I think it's, um, it's eight contestants, I think, because it's, um, I think it's an eight episode series. It's either eight or nine contestants in this, um, in this great, nice paradise, you know, like mansion paradise. And, um, there's this great butler there. Um, what's his name? I'm trying to look it up. Just hang on a second. What's his name? the guy's name but they have this really great butler there and um well the only problem is one day one of them suddenly is killed off and one then one by one they're each killed off and they each need to figure out the murderer of um who you know uh, the, the, the reason as to why the murder happened and if they guess right they're spared for the week and, um, that was, it was definitely a very interesting premise. As I said, I really liked Who Done It. One of the things I liked about it is that it, 100% of the time, the whole time, it took itself very seriously. I almost felt like I was watching, like, a CSI or a, um, like, almost like, um, you know, one of those, like, the Glades almost, the, not really like the Glades, but I, I felt like I was watching, like, CSI or NCIS, you know, those, like, mystery solved, um, murders, that, that type of show. I really feel like I was watching that, and I thought that was really cool, but the thing is, this is all real. Obviously, though, the deaths are not real. They're obviously replicas. I'm just trying to figure out how far are they going to go with this. That's my question here. How far are they going to go? That's what was so cool to me, was that everything seemed so real. You can tell, though, do you really think they'd kill off somebody? I don't think so. In this one, pretty much, they killed off the cheerleader, which obviously was the first to die. It's always the hot blonde that dies first in the horror movies. And, um, I wouldn't say this is a horror series. I'd say it's definitely more of a thriller. I would say, though, it's probably one of the most disturbing summer shows in a while. And I really would recommend that if you don't like scary things, don't watch this. Sometimes if you feel like you're in, like, um, trapped in a, in, I feel like these contestants, they felt that like it was just going to be questions answered that they didn't know it was going to be like this. And, um, there were different theories going around, and one of the coolest parts of the show, I think, is when we actually saw, um, the girl being electrocuted, because that looks so real. And then the other part that I thought was really cool was, how were they able to get the bones out of her brain and, like, the gun, the gunshot out of her brain? How were they able to do that? Because if she's not dead, I mean, they can't, uh, again, they can't obviously kill off somebody. So how were they able to get the thing out of her brain? I don't understand that. That is still going to be a mystery to me. But that was really cool, honestly, because, I mean, you, I don't know how they did certain things. And I really like that there's not a lot of shows out there where you're like, oh, I, oh, you know, that was just, um, I have no idea how they did that. Most times you're like, okay, that's a stage double, obviously. Most reality shows, you can do that. But this show really plays with your mind. You don't really know who's doing all of this. And we know for a fact the host, the, the, the killer's not the host. He said already in an interview, he's not the killer. But I'm just trying to figure out, again, how far are they going to go with this? When are they going to finally reveal to the contestants this is, this is all fake? I just really would want to see that. I'm glad that they did not reveal the killer. They're not going to reveal the killer to the end of the season because the end of the episode 
there was this fire alarm that went off and one of them did not return. We saw them on fire and then they fell into the pool, basically drowning. Again, how does that work though? Because I, but my father did say that the guy who was on fire, his pajamas were a different color than the rest of the people. So that's probably how they did. It was probably a stage double. But are they killing off stage doubles? I think it's like robotic or something. I don't think it's an actual human being. Because I mean, would you really do this to a human being? It's just a show. Eventually they're going to get like a huge amount of cash, I think. I think that's what's going to happen is that they're going to get a huge amount of cash. And then everybody's going to come out, show that person they're not really dead. And that is just one of the coolest things about the show, is just that it plays with your mind. As I said, you have no idea, most of the time, you have no idea who the killer could be. When it was time for them to reveal the killer, they all said different people. Most of them said this girl, Adriana, but other people said other, pe uh, other people. I have a feeling that the girl who got spared, maybe she was the killer, but I don't think that's it now. I did think it was cool, though, with the at the end, they have these envelopes, pretty much. And one by one, the first person gets spared, but then one by one, everybody else reads it. It's either spared or scared. If you get a scared, you're in risk of dying, pretty much. But if you get a spared, you're good for the week. And I think it's going to be very cool to see how this goes. I feel like as time goes on, we're going to get more scares than we get spares. And I think that's going to be really cool to see each week how that's going to go. And these contestants probably must be frightened by this. They must have been scared. I mean, it just, uh, it just seems like a very intense show, and I think it's going to be a lot of, not really, it's not really a fun show, but I feel like it's going to be a lot of fun to see them go through this. I think it's going to be fun, especially when they find out this isn't all real, and, you know, some somehow this is all just not real. That's just what I'm trying to figure out, though, is how, again, how are these, are these stage doubles, are these, like, computer-generated people? What do you guys think about that? But I thought, again, it was a really good premiere episode, and I really liked it. So what do you guys think of the pilot of Who Done It? I know this was a very interesting type of review, and it's a very interesting show. What do you guys think of it? Did you like um, all the contestants? Did you expect the blonde cheerleader to die? I did. I mean, the moment they said blonde cheerleader, I'm like, oh, she's going to be the first one to die. Um, who do you think the killer is? Why do you, how are they killing off these people? Are they computer generated? Are they stage doubles? Do you really think they're going to kill off a person? What do you guys think? That's it for my review. I hope you enjoyed it. And unfortunately, I did not get to watch Crossing Lines. Um, for some reason, my DVR did not record it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to watch it on the computer, and then I will review it to you. Um, so I'm going to watch it on my computer, and then I will review it to you. So I will see you guys in the next video which will be my review of Crossing Lines. So see you then. Bye.